So let's talk a little bit about subdivision subdivisions and how they can be utilized by you. So I'm going to hold down shift and smooth and I'm going to add just really quickly add some details. So control D, I'm going to detail this guy up just a really quickly a little bit and not really doing any, and I've got hotkeys assigned to my standard and move brush. So I'm going to use them because I'd be really slow if I didn't. Um, but of course what you can do for now is BMV or go over here and just tap back and forth between standard and move. So I can just, uh, just going in here, adding some detail here. I'm going to knock this nose ridge back, build these brow ridges up a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is because, oh, I changed it to smooth valleys. Ignore, ignore what I'm doing here. I'm just going to change these really quick. I'm going to change it to smooth stronger, actually. Okay, so ignore that. I accidentally did that when I was grabbing miscellaneous brush menus to illustrate packing up your brush area. So, boy, that's a crazy skull. I've got some detail here. I'm going to control D again. And just for fun, I'm going to go in here and add quite a bit of detail. Just to illustrate, you know, as you're sculpting and adding detail here. And again, I'm trying to use just <laughs> standard and move, which is fairly limiting. You can get quite a bit done with just standard and move brush, but I'm tempted to use some other stuff here. And control D again. And here I'm just going to get into, let's just do control D one more time. So I'm up to six subdivision levels of history here. If you go into active points, you're going to see I have uh, 500,000 active points, which I think translates into about a million polygons right now. And ZBrush is handling it fine. I'm on my laptop right now. And ZBrush can handle millions of polygons, no problem. So uh, let's say I start putting in, just with my standard brush here, I'm going to put in just some details that we can kind of move around. So I'm just going to put in some lines here and some circles here and some bumps here. So again, just tapping to kind of put some bumps in there and, ta and actually tapping and moving because we haven't gotten a lazy mouse yet. Um, holding down Alt to put in smaller and if we zoom in here, you can actually go in here and add a little bit of filler in here. So we're getting a lot of detail stuff. Now, I wouldn't go and start detailing out something that looked like this. Um, but just to kind of illustrate what subdivision level history is, what you can do is you can actually go all the way back down to subdivision level 1. And you can go in here to your move brush. And it's like, you know what? Let's make some drastic changes here. And then go all the way back up. It's going to keep your underlying drastic changes but it's also moving around your high level detail stuff. So use that to your advantage if you're using subdivision level history. Because uh, this is, think of this as like an envelope or a cage, a low resolution cage that's moving around a bunch of high resolution stuff that you've done up to that point. So, you know, you can move all this stuff around pretty drastically, or you can go to subdivision level two, then you can move this stuff around. This will give you a little bit more resolution to kind of push and pull. And subdivision level three, so you can kind of work your way up and kind of make big sweeping changes and that you know that by the time you get to subdivision level six all your high-res detail is there it's just being moved around and manipulated by your low resolution cage so now that we've done that so we're sculpting on our mesh and actually it's behaved okay because we haven't made anything major but let's go to the top here and you're gonna see this pinched area here is really nasty and there's a there's a couple different ways to get rid of this but what we're going to end up doing is going into dynamesh and organic sculpting so that'll kind of alleviate some of that and allow you to do a lot of really cool stuff but just for basic sculpting take a cube subdivide it up start sculpting playing around with your move brush now that you know the move brush and now that you know the standard brush and on access them you know feel free